y'all welcome back to my channel in this video I want to show you a quick and easy hairstyle that can be created on your natural curly hair a twist out braid out straight hair or even a wig any out style will do I told y'all in my last video that I am wigging it to waist length so in this video in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I did this hairstyle on my curly wig and this unit that I'm using in this video comes from Eva wigs make sure you check the description box to get all of the details a coupon code and they're having a Black Friday sale so you'll definitely want to make sure that you check out all of their fabulous wigs all of the wigs that I've used in my recent videos have all come from Eva wigs so I definitely highly highly recommend them anyway uh, this is not a wig review this is more of a wig styling tutorial so let's get started now that I have my wig on my head I just want to make sure that I have it immediately like directly right behind my hairline that's where I like to wear my wigs and um, I want to get this parting situation straightened out because we don't really have a part right now. So I'm going to use my rat tail comb to give myself a clean center part. This wig is a full lace unit, so I do have the flexibility of parting this wig anywhere I want to, whether it's on the right side or left side, the center, ear to ear. Full lace wigs gives you that flexibility. But for this hairstyle, I want a center part, so that is what I am doing. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my Instagram stories, this is the unit that I did an unboxing of a few days ago. And let me tell you something. The hair on this wig is so, 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 so soft. So I didn't wash this wig before I started to style it. I simply rinsed it out with plain water and put some leave-in conditioner and it left the hair kind of clumpy. So what you see me doing here is just releasing some of those clumps and separating my hair so I can get a fuller, more voluminous look with this wig, which, you know, is what I like. Once I got the curls separated as much as I wanted them, I took my spray bottle and just sprayed one side of my hair before I used my tangle teaser to smooth that side down. And that was just water in that spray bottle. This is the fun part. Y'all have all seen this bobby pin trend going around on Instagram and YouTube with natural hair tutorials, right? It's super cute and it really is a quick and easy way to jazz up any plain hairstyle. I'm using gold bobby pins and I'm going to end up using both large and small ones. But bobby pins come in any color so it's like I said you can just figure out a pattern that you like. You don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing. You can do zigzag, you can do um, I've seen crisscross almost like a checkerboard or tic-tac-toe board. Now I'm just putting my bobby pins in straight and I'm using the extra large ones and I'm putting them what I would consider upside down and that's where that flat side is on top and the curved side is on the bottom. And then I did the same thing with the other side, sprayed my hair with some water, used my tangle teaser to smooth down, and then took some of those large gold body pins and slid them on to the other side of that center part. have both sides of my hair done I decided that I wanted to add some more bobby pins to this hairstyle because you know you never can have enough bobby pins right when I finished putting all of my bobby pins in my hair I addressed this part situation because you can hardly see it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some concealer and use one of our old makeup brushes that we don't use anymore and put that concealer directly on my part. I know I am starting to look like a real wiggy, but this is a tip that I picked up from the wig gurus off of YouTube and it really does help your part look a lot more natural. I wanted to make sure that I gave y'all a close up on what this parting situation looks like and show you exactly where I set my wigs right behind my hairline. I decided to add more body pins and actually ended up doing what you saw at the beginning of the video, which is a crisscross pattern. And instead of using large body pins for the cross, I use the small body pins. 
and I ended up using a total of 10 bobby pins on each side. And that is it y'all. I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said earlier, this hairstyle isn't just for wigs. You can actually do this on your natural hair, your straight hair, twist out, braid out, any out loose style. This would be beautiful on, even in a slick back bun, I can see this being cute. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber of mine. Make sure that you check out my last videos and tell me down in the comment section what are your thoughts about this bobby pin trend and all of the new hair accessories that are out. I feel like it reminds me of the 90s a little bit, but I want to hear your thoughts. Until next time y'all, peace.